What's up everybody, Nathan here, and this week we're starting another competitive modern league with Jeskai Geist. No, we're not, actually. What what is this? Search for Azkanta. What does this do? At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may put it on the that seems, that seems pretty pretty okay. I mean, it's two drops. Not the, Oh, what is this? It flips into something else? Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them. That seems pretty cool. It's like almost an impulse for three mana every turn. And after it flips, it makes a mana? Hmm. Okay, so we're not going to play Geist this week, obviously. We're going to play Jeskai... As Kanta. Now, when this card was first spoiled, I thought it looked pretty sweet. Um, but, you know, I, I've, I've sort of just been on my Geist thing, and I haven't really been doing much brewing these days. Um, fortunately, I didn't have to, because Jonathan Rossum did. But I don't want to... This is how new I have this deck into my... I haven't even, like, replaced the lands with... That is a phone. I need to go answer it. I'll be right back. Okay, where was I? Jeskai... As Kanta. Um, I wanted to say thank you to... I want to say it was Will Compare. Will Compare. I'm not sure if that's... I'm probably mispronouncing that, so I'm sorry. But I wanted to say thanks, Will, for sending me this list. I probably wouldn't have seen it otherwise. This list, like I said, comes from uh, Jonathan... I'm assuming it's Jonathan Rossum because it's Awesome Rossum. I like the name. It's kind of similar to Great Nate. Awesome Rossum, Great Nate. Sounds like a duo or like some kind of team uh anyway so this is his list and you know normally like if this was a geist list i'd probably make my own little preferable tweaks like prefer surgical extraction of a relic of progenitus but for the sake of doing something a little different i'm just going to run his straight 75 but let's talk a little bit more about this card so one of the things that i like about it is the fact that it's two um, I feel like I was going to, I would say Jeskai, um, it could use like, I, here's the thing. It's not exactly a threat, but Jeskai could use another quality two drop. Um, we're kind of glutted at the threes between Spell Quellers and Electrolyze and, you know, uh, Geist of St. Traft. But Search for Azkanta is to me kind of like, it, it it's on that interesting curve of, Tarmogoyf, Dark Confidant, Snapcaster Mage, Young Pyromancer, uh, Stoneforge Mystic, like some of the best two drops in the game. Now, I'm not saying that this is on the same power level of something like a Stoneforge Mystic or a Snapcaster Mage, but it's interesting in how at least it shares the same spot on the mana curve, meaning something very something impactful that you can do early on in the game. Now, obviously, I, I don't think you would end, you would even run Search for Azkanta and Geist of St. Traft in the same deck. If you're looking to get to basically kind of win the game with Search for Azkanta, you're, you're looking to be more of a control deck. Now, we do have some tempo elements in Spellcrawler, but now that we are not running Geist, I think it's fine to go up on things like Supreme Verdicts, stuff like that. So I, I don't know that this is the right shell, but he did 5-0 with this list. Jonathan Rossum could probably 5-0 with just about anything, though, looking at... Uh, the quality of, like, the caliber of player that he is. But I'm, I'm excited to try this list. It's something new, and fortunately for me, it's, you know, I, I feel like I'm fine with this, but I can, I'm can i sort of a one-trick pony when it comes to Magic the Gathering. I play Jeskai. That's what I do. And I'm fine with that because I love playing Jeskai. But whenever I try to, like, branch out into other colors, I, I don't always play my best. Uh, so at least this is not going to be too far outside of my wheelhouse. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm super excited to cast Search for S. Kanta, so let's go do it. <clears throat> By the way, if, while I'm waiting for this league to get kicked off, I'm sorry that my preview window isn't working. I have no idea why it does this. I'll just show you. Not that this is that interesting. This is just filling airtime. But the, well, I guess you can't see. It doesn't pop up on my screen, and it just shows up as, as this weird, like, sort of gray like the way you can see it here like this it, there's nothing in there i don't know last time i had to fix what i had to do last time to fix it was uninstall magic online and i don't want to do that and here's a match let's play some magic let's cast some search for, as kanta let's 
I guess it's kind of like impulse. It's not any card, but it is more expensive, but it's also repeatable. And it makes a mana. It's it's cool. It is cool. It is cool. It's so it's interesting because if it flips, it's like acceleration too. This is card is I really want to try this. Okay. Yes, we want to place first. And okay, then there's no search for Ascanta in there. This hand is uh needs probably gonna We're not gonna fetch if we can help it. Just so that we because we don't know what land we're going to draw, so. Alright, so. I think it's obviously safe to play Colonnade because this Flooded Strand can get a Steam Vents if necessary, and they're, gonna about, to be, they're about to be on two mana, so. Um, I mean, we have our twos for. We have our Spell Snare for a reason. Spell Queller would be <laughs> Spell Queller would be great. So the best thing that they could do here would be play a land and tap out for a three drop. All right. Well, since we have like logic knots and cryptic commands, I'm gonna cast this Queller just to start applying pressure while we hold up other counter spells. This game has the potential to go really well for us. I mean, if we if if they have a path, we're just not even gonna worry about it. But this game has a chance to go really well for us. I mean, we, we, we're going to logic knot our way into a cryptic command. It's pretty sweet. I'm not sure what we're playing against now. Um, let's... Oh, you know what? I guess I could have just... Rattle chains. Uh, bu 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 bu. Well, I can't counter it. Um, hmm. Geist could be a problem. I think we can just uh, we can just kind of ignore this. I think. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Um, now, Geist would be problematic. And... We can counter this, though. I think I will. Um, mainly, I just I like I if they're a creature based deck, I like finding ways to trade counter spells for creature. I like I like finding ways to make my counter spells act as removal, and that might get annoying later when it comes to figuring out uh, you know how and what we're gonna kill. Um, okay, so let's see here. I could lightning helix the rattle chains. He could have another rattle chains. Um, I kind of think I'm just going to Helix him, actually. He may cast a Geist here. That would be annoying. It's a Drog Skull Captain. All right. So the plan I'm going for here is just basically I want to start Cryptic Tapping his team. Uh, so Tap, Draw, and... I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my washing machine's kind of going crazy. Maybe I'm like depending a little too much on this spell queller. So we take five, and now that yeah, it's getting kind of by kind of annoying. Actually, their 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 team's getting a bit larger than ours. Uh, let's see. So. Let's Serum Visions. Another red source would be nice. Um, but I think I'm at the bottom of both of these. So now we can't... 
Let's see what can we do here. Um, Can we just, I guess we probably need to try and, I kind of want to bounce this drug skull captain, but maybe I just need to, because so we can't attack into this queller. Sorry for the long pause, I'm just trying to think, like, what happens if we let, if we go to his upkeep and we let him queller one of our spells? Um... Maybe I just want to. I'm gonna play around spell snare, and I'm just gonna bolt this now. And I guess I can't really attack into that Queller. The reason I'm bolting it now is I don't want him to play another one. <laughs> Electrolyze could be great. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass though. Um, I don't want to do anything on his turn. On, on our turn, rather. Um, okay, so I think here I'm just going to go for the Electrolyze. Maybe I should have gotten that other blue source. an interesting one. So here we guess we can um, he didn't have a way to interact last time. Let's see if he has the spell snare. He did not. I could one and one. No. I'll, I'll dome him. land, uh, then we'll play our search for eggs, whatever. Okay, so now this is going to, we almost, ooh, we can flip this next turn. Let's put a, make sure we have a stop there, but we just have to crack this fetch land into his upkeep. Vapor snag our dude. That doesn't really feel that bad. Could be wrong. Okay, so let's see here. Seven or more cards. We may transform. It adds a mana, and we get to look at our... For three mana, we can look at the top. All right. So let's fetch and go to... Or get another steam vents. Seven cards in the graveyard. Okay, so we get to look at the top card. Put Serum Visions. Was it just reveal? I'm just like showing, where's the window where it says that no, actually, I want to I want to draw the ceremonies, but where does it show me? Yes, we will transform. So that was sweet. So now this is a land. I don't want to use it for that though. Um, so I think I'm just going to pass because at this point I get to spell queller and activate this. That seems pretty good. 
Oh wait, no, no, I miscounted. I could have sent. No, 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 I'm no. I didn't miscount. I didn't miscount. Create a spirit token. It's pretty good. I love me some Moreland Haunt, and he's got a lot of creatures in there to get a lot of value out of it. But we're gonna find an Electrolyze. That's what we're gonna do. Or a Snapcaster. I guess we can't get a Snapcaster Mage with this. Um, let's see. I guess we can go ahead and activate this. Serum Visions and a Cryptic Command. Um, I guess I'll take the Serum Visions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just try to quell her and block that spirit token. Okay. Well, now we know he's got mana leak. Another land is good. Let's Serum Visions first just to take a look here. Path to Exile and Bolt. Put this on bottom. I will put this on top. I will play this. Serum Visions. I'll put this on bottom. Put this on top. And then we're going to pass. Uh, we are going to upkeep Bolt the Spell Queller. If he makes a token with the... Um, yeah, so I think what we will do here while it's safe is just bolt that return target permanent hand draw a card I could cryptic to bounce this but I think I want to activate this actually. Um, actually, yeah, I think. Well, yeah. Well, let's activate it first and see what we see before we make our decision. Uh, bolt and path. So I will take this bolt. Put these on the bottom. Now this is so interesting, like we, we even get choice to like do it at our upkeep, but I think I'll just draw. Okay. Serum Visions. Put this on the bottom, this on the top. Wait a second. I get to play both of these? <laughs> so now I get to also scry. I just don't get to I just don't have to flip it, right? Am I legendary land, the sunken yeah, these aren't the same thing. Oh that's sweet. I didn't even realize that. Oh, wow. That makes that better. So we know, I think we have a Helix on top of our deck, right? So let's see here. Um, I think I'll bolt one of these guys. I'm just going to path as well. We won't put that into our graveyard. We won't transform. Oh man, this is sweet. Like we just kind of, the longer we, I think the longer we make the game go, we'll just find a way to fight through all of his stuff.
Um, so let's try and let's get an entry. So if I logic not this, then I can't. If he spell quellers it, I don't get it back with the spell queller. Um, I don't think it matters. I think I, I feel like I just have enough removal to do. I just have enough to do everything. I guess I I don't even have to be that picky. Uh, two. Three. Four. So you could spell queller this logic knot. And then what I was saying is, if I bolt the spell queller back, I don't I don't get it back. So let's see. Um, so I think I can just path. Like I can. I feel like I can just be reckless. Like I can. Path this, and then if he counters it, like so what? I don't even care about. I don't even care. If I'm giving him a. I think because I think it's just the longer the game goes, it's more in my favor. Oh, he just countered. Oh, I see what he did. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, I still don't think it matters. So let's scry. Yes, I will put Sulfur Falls in. No, I will not transform. Um, let's draw because we know we scry to the bottom. Snapcaster Mage. So now we can just, I guess, like, can we? I guess wish we could Snapcaster Electrolyze, but we'll just. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Oh no, so I guess I can I can helix and then snap electrolyze the drug skull reaver. Yeah. Or that it's not drug skull reaver, drug skull hapton. So we'll just do this. Then he casts that. And then we do this. I'm not really like player not since we're not gonna activate this, I guess I could tap it for mana. <laughs> I don't think it really matters. And then play this. So now we have I'm not even like thinking about the most efficient way to do this. Oh I guess we could have saved it because he still has this moral and haunt, right? Put electrolyze into your graveyard. No no no. We'll take that electrolyze. We won't transform. Uh, so if I attack with the Snapcaster Mage, he's going to block. That's fine, I think. He'll make a token and block, and then we'll kill the token. So we still got three more creatures, but we have an electrolyze. <clears throat> And the, I think the more time that we activate this, uh, the better off we will be. So let's do it. Uh, do I want to? I mean, I might as well, right? I might as well take the card. Put these lands on the bottom. That's cool. No, we'll draw the spell queller. We won't transform. So he makes a spirit. My washing machine, and <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. So if you can't, this may just sound like nothing, but I feel like my washing machine is going to destroy itself. We do have to be careful about like
I guess I could like spell color my own spell snare at this point. Uh, two cards in hand. I mean, sure, I'm just going to recast it. Can't pay for that. So now I get to make two more. All right, so let's scry. Uh, no, we will draw that. We won't transform. He did not make a token. I'm going to path this now. Whenever another spirit enters the battlefield. Oh, so now he gets to make this bigger with a uh, Moreland Haunt. It's kind of interesting. So let's activate this. Cryptic command. Um, sure. I'm like, can I just should I just cryptic the spirit token, knowing that he can like counter it with the mausoleum wonder? I kind of don't see why not. Like we can just like hemorrhage out resources. No, we'll draw the snapcaster mage. We won't transform. Well, we keep giving him cre we keep giving him creatures with this Morlin on. <laughs> guess we'll have to start. I guess we'll have to start attacking eventually here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and electrolyze these. I'm just. This bolt might go to the face. Logic knot. Uh, I mean, I suppose. Snap caster mage on the bottom. No, we won't. No, we won't. So now, actually, I think we can wait a moment here, and then at the end of his next turn, do some kind of a thing. Spirit, he has one more thing to make a spirit from. We will take the one. And then I'm going to bolt. Snap. Bolt. I guess I could bolt I could bolt snap helix here. No, I'm gonna Yeah, I can. Uh do I have a helix in yeah I do. Cause then I'm gonna activate the I kinda keep forgetting it. well, I guess I'm not forgetting that it makes a mana because I'm just using it for other things. Then activate this. Yes, put flooded strand. No, don't transform. Do that. Um So, one, two, three, four, five to activate colonnade. 
let's just attack and use this crypt command as a removal spell You're going to give me back a Snapcaster Mage. Deal. Alright, let's path this. I could snap, electrolyze. We're giving no. This, so this is exile. Oh, so no, it's not exile exiled yet. Um, sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and just snap bolt here. <laughs> like <laughs> this is silly. This, that card is amazing. I mean, like, I'm just playing sloppy. I'm, like, not even really trying. And I'm just completely... Like, I, we have so many things in our graveyard now. Sure. We will logic not for as much as we need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, seven, yeah. Let's see if we can use this without using our Snapcaster Mage. Yes, put Hollowed Fountain in the graveyard. Don't transform. Activate this thing. Oh, well. Snap. Electrolyze for maximum value. This took so much time, though, and, like, I'm talking through it. Like, look how much time we have on the clock. Thank God we're winning game one. <laughs> this is crazy. That card's amazing. Like, I, obviously, you, I probably could have ended the game earlier, but, I mean, it was kind of fun to just, like, go crazy. All right, so let's see. Um, I don't like uh, – the Dispel seems okay. Uh, what is this? Wear Terror? I – I think we want the verdicts, probably this, this Pia and Kieran Nalar. Um, maybe this relic. I don't know what all he's using the graveyard for. And I think we just want to go like full removal spell. Um, probably trim some of these cryptics. Maybe all the cryptics. We don't have a way to blow up his land, which is kind of annoying. Spellsner seems pretty good. Let's try this. All right, now we have to win this game. I'm going to have to play fast. I was having too much fun activating that thing. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. It's slow, but... I'm going to actually lead on Sulphur Falls just so I can bolt next turn. What is happening?
So I bolt the Kithkin and he sacrifices this. That dies. I'm kind of okay with that. Then we helix the Kithkin next turn. Figure of Destiny. Super interesting. I guess now we have to play around Spell Queller. Is this a spirit? It's a spirit. Who knew? Um, I'll just helix here. So if he levels it up now, what does it become a 4-4? Four, four? Opponent's down to two cards in hand. I'm just going to path this now. Hopefully we don't have a dispel. And then we're just going to spell our Serum Visions. Looking for, the, looking for lands because he's got lots of removal. Um, kind of want all of these. I think I'm going to go um, top top actually. So make sure we make our next X land drops. Um, I guess I can actually just do this. Oh, I'm <laughs> yeah, I didn't draw a card of my Electrolyze. Not the, not the brightest play there. I could have done that a little differently. So now we can play this and then have Logic Knot up. Seems good. He's going to Spell Queller and we're going to Logic Knot it. We're just going to negate. Yeah, I will fight over your negate because this card is awesome. Two, three, four. We'll keep the more efficient spells in the graveyard, I guess. And so now the value train starts in earnest. Put Serum Visions to the graveyard. Uh, no. I'll draw that Serum Visions. Got one card in hand. There's a Spell Snare. Bottom top. One card in hand, do we... Yeah, I think that's fine. I think I'll snap bolt now. And if he quellers, then I will just snap helix it next turn. Two cards in hand. Uh, put Celestial Carnage, uh, nope. Attack. So, Curious if he has an unsubstantiate. I'm not going to play around it. So we 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 are going to win this game if it continues, just because we will get so much value out of this search for Ascanta. But right now, what we don't have an unlimited amount of is time, obviously. Uh, still getting used to these triggers. Put search for Escon. Yes. I don't want to draw another one. That's fine. Attack for four. Now we can leave up Spell Snare and start activating this search for Escanta. 
Oh no, we can't activate it yet because we don't have enough in the graveyard. Put Electrolyze into your graveyard. No, I will draw that Electrolyze. Attack for four. Put Mountain into your graveyard. No. Uh, let's attack. Because we need to, we're, we're probably going to need to activate this colony at some point here. So now we got our opponent on a three turn clock. Slower clock. One, one. Put flooded strand into the graveyard. No. I meant to say yes. Five cards in the graveyard. Fetch. That's fine. Yes, put island in. Yes, transform. Sorry about that beeping. I'm sure you can hear that, but I don't want to fix it. I'm running so low on time. Fetch. No. I said no. Activate. Uh, relic, I guess. I don't know. I'm just like trying to play quickly now. Planes. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Activate a colonnade. Tack. Opponent goes to two. End of turn here, we're going to activate the enchantment. Leaving up a red in case we draw a bolt. Uh, we'll take the cryptic. We'll take the cryptic. Any order. One, two, three, four, five. Activate this colonnade. Shock. Keep up that cryptic command. Attack. And the match. <laughs> oh, man, this video is probably literally forever long. <laughs> uh, okay, so, wow, this card is sweet. The only downside is it's not exactly the kind of magic card, like, it doesn't lead to the kind of games that I like, this kind of game, where it's like the, okay, now that I have this thing resolved, I'm just going, like, this is much more of a control deck than a guy's deck. Um, it's not going to be as good as turning the corner, but jeez, does this card... I'm like about to buy foils of these just because I think this card is really good. Like, we probably haven't found the right shell for it yet, obviously, but like with some thought scours and stuff, an early flip of this, like you start just... Now, now granted, it looked really good here because we were kind of... Uh, obviously, this isn't going to be as good against something like affinity where you almost can't even take a turn off to cast it however they don't always have the fastest start and if you can just get this down it just starts building value so quickly and it it, it really it gives you more ways to make the game go longer which means you get more value out of it and you will win just getting value out of as and as you saw like I was just able to be sloppy and be like, I don't know, I'm just going to do this and do that, and I don't care if you counter it because, like, I know that I'm going to be drawing, like, I'm going to basically be impulsing every single turn, and that's crazy. I'm impulsing 
and I'm scrying. And it's like scry 1.5 almost because you can you can even put spells in the graveyard to be better for Snapcaster Mage. So sweet card. I mean, obviously, like I'm I'm I don't want to be too hasty, but I kind of want to be hasty. I kind of want to go buy them on in uh, in paper. Um, the silly thing is, like I wouldn't even, I might not even play them only because like I've I've been selling so many Magic cards um, on Magic Card Market. Uh, if you want to find me on there, you can probably just search for users, Great Nate, something like that. But um, I, what am I trying to say here? Unless I'm trying to thought. Uh, oh, I, I've been selling like all my Magic collection because I finally just admitted to myself, Nathan, you don't ever play anything other than Jessica Geist ever. Like sometimes I play Kiki, sometimes I play Jessica Flash, but pretty much it's like. Jeskai decks. That's it. Get rid of your Esper cards. Get rid of your other cards. You're not going to play it. I had, like, you know, some of the Grixis cards. Never. I, I could have built Grixis Control. Never once played it in a tournament. I played Blue Moon once in a tournament. And just at, like, an FNM. Because, you know, I like I said at the beginning, I play Jeskai. I'm a one-trick pony. I don't care. I like playing Jeskai. It's a shell I'm comfortable with. I like my, comfortable zone, my comfort zone. And anyway, I was saying I don't want to be hasty, but I kind of just want to be hasty because I feel like this card's awesome. And I just really like... This feels almost as good as Sphinx's Revelation. It actually feels better than Sphinx's Revelation at times. And obviously it feels better than Sphinx's Revelation when you do it multiple times. I, I don't know if anything beats a Sphinx's Revelation for like 7 or something like that. But this card was sweet. Okay, that's it. Great match. Great card. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please... If you like what I do, subscribe. It helps me out, and it'll, it'll let you know when more awesome content comes. Talk to you guys soon.